It's all about creating a better hip drive and more hip power in this video. Now, this is a follow-up to the one I did last week. This one's more about extension of the hip in front of a hip for a better takeoff position. So, we're gonna look at a particular workout that I did and you're gonna be able to follow along and see some of the emphases which I place on the movement. As usual with my training sessions, we start with some what I call basic drills in the first unit. And here we're doing some in-place hip movements, hip drives and heel recoveries. Now we also experimented with an overspeed methodology for developing greater heel recovery. So as you can see, one of the athletes pushes down on the thigh of the other as they push down their leg into the contact and the leg will spin around that much quicker. This is something that we introduce in my block three of training as we approach the indoor season. It's just another way of sharpening up. The second unit, we're looking at some form of transference between the first and the second. Transference being a common theme in my videos at the moment. You want your exercises to dovetail to fit into each other. So having stimulated the hip complex with the unit one drills, we went on to some then takeoff style movements. However, the emphasis was on developing a forward travel and not using the takeoff foot to impart too much force. The direction is all created by the hip swing and the movement away of the hip from the body, holding that position and holding the arms in place as well. Some of the athletes were better at getting this inflection of going forwards than others. Some who are quad dominant and less hip enabled, able to use their hips I should say, tend to push through their takeoff foot more and go vertical. The more able ones in terms of being able to swing their hips are going to transfer their speed forwards. So that's the inflection of this drill. We did three repetitions on each leg and each one was slightly quicker than the previous. You can see some of the technical pointers on screen at the moment. Notice the differences between the athletes as I've alluded to previously and you can see perhaps more clearly what I was referring to. You can vary the height and as I said speed of these particular drills. That would make them more long jump orientated if you're aiming for a steeper angle of climb from the contact. However, for this unit, it was all about hip speed and directing that hip speed forwards horizontally. Of course, working horizontally and doing other versions with a more vertical displacement is all going to fit together when it comes to developing a better long jump takeoff or transitions in the phases in the triple jump. The more horizontal versions, I believe, will have a good transference to sprint speed and the movement of the hip in front of the body to generate that greater velocity. We then did another version where there were two takeoffs from one leg with a step which then transfers the takeoff onto the next leg for another two takeoffs. And this is repeated. You may recall from the other videos that we've been doing that downhill. So we're now transferring the gains that we've made from the downhill work, which as I've been saying recently, is more about eccentric force development than speed. We're transferring that into jumping and sprint speed. An additional benefit of this particular drill is that it also works the penultimate step for the long jump when you transition between two takeoffs on one leg to two takeoffs on the other. Now, of course, it reverses the penultimate step leg, but that quick transition from a landing is actually reflected in this drill. So you can see that it has multiple benefits. After a couple of build-up runs, the jumpers then went down into the jump hall to do some jumping. And the idea was to get that hip movement transferred into specific triple jumping and long jump. I'm not gonna go into a lot of detail about it now, but you can see that the hip positions were particularly strong amongst the triple jumpers and the long jumpers. So there was a potentiating benefit and a transfer benefit from the preliminary drills into the actual jumping unit. Well, I hope the information provided in this video will help you get a greater understanding of various drills that you can utilize to improve your hip drive. If you have any questions, then do let me know. Leave them in the comment section below or through my other social media. Now, I did get quite a lot of questions on a video two weeks back on transference from weight training. 
and I'm going to eventually answer those queries in another video. So hold tight, be patient as I will address them. And as usual, good luck with any competitions you've got coming up and your training at the moment.